Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for March 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's going on, y'all? So this is going to be a general energy reading, okay? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, go ahead and check out the description box. All of the information that you need, including my email address, is in the description box below. If you would like to do so, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. And you can find me on Facebook at Divine Conversations 2711. So we're going to be doing this a little bit different than I normally do for the monthly readings, other than I'm recording recording this so that you can see my face. We can actually have like a kind of face-to-face -face conversation here. I'm going to be starting the reading with pulling an oracle card. Normally I like to save that for the end, but we're changing it up here, guys. So we're going to start with an oracle card from the Oracle of Unicorns, and then we're going to follow, follow up with the freestyle reading that I normally do using the Golden Universal Tarot. Yeah? Excellent. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Excuse me for a second. I'm going to get a sip of coffee here. Okay, let's do it, Gemini. Let's see what we've got for you. March 2019. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved and for all involved for March 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. So let's do this here. We're starting with the Oracle. Let's see what we've got for you, Gemini. March 2019. March 2019 for Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. March 2019. One more shuffle, and then we'll see what we've got here for you. Okay. Je Oop, there it is. Strength. Okay. All right, so what I'm see I'm hearing specifically with this card here is personal willpower, all right? So you might be going through a period where your willpower is being redefined, realigned. Um, the strength of your will actually is being, is being tested for some of you. I feel like this is going to be a month in which your conviction is tested, your willpower, your follow through, um, your commitment to whatever, whatever choice you may have made in the recent past or maybe even the distant past. Um, this could be with business. Some of you could be um, tested in your willpower to, to see something through. Um, I feel like this could be entrepreneurially related, related excuse me, um, like for what I'm picking up specifically for some of you is that you may have started a new business or you've embarked on a new creative project and now the universe or actually yourself and to be quite honest, we're all the universe here. So you, the universe or i.e. yourself, maybe even your higher self may be testing you to see if you really want to follow through with this. Um, if you're going to follow through with this, how you handle maybe some of the challenges that would come up. This might be a little bit of a challenging month for you, okay? Um, but this says this challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. And specifically, what I want to say about that is every challenge, every circumstance, every perceived setback um, has a, a, a gem within it. And that gem is knowledge, is wisdom, is power, okay? Um, no matter how steep the mountain may be, you can and will uh, climb it and be successful, all right? So let's see. Let's go a little bit deeper here. Let's get into the tarot for the month here for you. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Gemini, there could be some partnerships that come into play here. Some of you actually may be coming from a power, a a a. a a position of strength. So this may not be a situation in which your strength is tested. This may be a time for you this month could be the start of a situation in which you are actually able to put the strength that you've cultivated into play or into practice, into good use, okay? You may have gone through a pretty uh, tough, um, it almost feels for this, for this collective or this part of the group, I'm feeling like this is, it's almost like it's been an initiation 
or a training situation in which you've learned some very valuable lessons that you can now apply to your business or your creative endeavors, okay? One more shuffle here for you, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Of course, we do have Venus in play here, so um, this could be in a relationship. Uh, it, and if we're talking relationship-wise, this feels like a situation in which maybe you've been single um, and now you've found the inner strength to stand on your own. Or maybe you've been in a relationship with someone and um, the times have been challenging and now you have this greater sense of strength to continue with the relationship and make it stronger, um, more solid between the two of you. Um, or this could be you're going into a situation where this is you're going to be challenged, but uh, overcoming the challenges will fortify the relationship even more. Okay, and this doesn't have to be just really a, a, a like romantic. This could be friendships. This also could be business partnerships or some sort of creative partnership that you have going on here. Okay, Gemini. Yes, starting you out with the ten of swords, Gemini. That's perfect. Okay, and that actually really does speak to what the message of strength here is, okay? Saying that this challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in the situation. Look for the blessings in disguise here. What have you learned in this situation? Or what have you learned going through this situation? And if this is something that you're going into in the beginning of uh, going into March, uh, entering into this in March, you might want to come back and watch this video again at the end of March to see how it might resonate at that point, but then also to start thinking about and answering the questions of what have you learned here. The Ten of Swords is very much an energy of uh, the past, or I'm sorry, the worst being behind you, the end of a very rough, tumultuous, um, painful, damaging, uh, destructive situation. I mean, this person, look, this person is very, very dead. <laughs> Here with these ten swords throughout his body, you know, and bleeding out on this table. So um, this, you've been going through either you've been going through a rough period, a very or a very challenging period, and I do feel like for the most part, this is just, um, it's just been very challenging, in the sense of getting the ball rolling, maybe, um, uh, proving yourself, maybe. Um, yeah, but the worth is the worth the worst is either behind you or is about to be behind you, okay? Depending on where you fall energetically in this. You have the two of cups. That's so interesting because when I was channeling before I even got to the reading while I was, you know, going about my morning and um getting the energy settled and like starting to really connect with the energies here, the two of cups was coming into mind. So you could have some sort of partnership happening here. This could be business, this could be I mean, this is the two of cups. So technically this does represent uh represent um um um, romantic partnerships, maybe even a soulmate situation. But I'm also hearing financial partnerships too. Cups can, a, a two of cups can often symbolize individuals that are coming together for creative purposes, okay? To whether that is to create um, art or to uh, run an event um, or collaborate on an event, some sort of collaborative, collaborative type energy here. And you have the star, wow, and the knight of cups, okay. This is great energy. Gemini, I'm not going to lie. Underneath everything is the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups comes out, has been coming out quite often, quite a lot um, over the last, I want to say, month or so, uh, maybe month and a half. The Knight of Cups has been coming out a lot, and that's been speaking to the um, cosmic heart chakra awakening that we've all been going through, everybody on the planet. And that's about coming into who you who you truly are, where your heart really is, what you really want out of life, um, being the fullest and greatest expression of yourself as possible. Um, and it's no different here, okay? Now, this could eventually meet, not, uh, or essentially this could be, if we're talking, let's talk about love for a second, because you do have the star here. The star is talking about healing, but it's also talking about wish fulfillment. So you could have gone through a situation in which you had a bad breakup or you had a bad situation with someone that you may have been in love with or they may have been in love with you and maybe there was some unrequited love there, um, it, it just wasn't reciprocated or it just didn't go well. Um, and or this could be a number of uh, experiences that you may have had over your life that have finally come to a head. You finally come to the 
understanding or you are in the process of coming to a full understanding of what these cycles have meant for you especially if they just kept coming back up and up and up and normally when that happens it's because we're still trying to learn and integrate the, the lesson of that similar situation that keeps coming back around whether it's the same person or the same circumstances just with different people or different um settings or whatnot um but there's healing here OK, there's also uh, there's healing surrounding that. So either you're in this position right now or you're going to be going through this in the month of March. Um, there's also the balance of masculine and feminine energy that's coming into play here with this two of cups. This is a union card. Yes, this is about soulmate relationships, creative partnerships, but it's also about coming into union with yourself and balancing the masculine and feminine energies. And that's definitely what I'm seeing here with this heart chakra awakening that's coming through with the Knight of cups. There also could be because of this, whatever you're coming out of in this situation, that's making you stronger there could be someone that could be coming forward to now bring you exactly what it is you're looking for because you do in fact have that balance of two of cups or masculine and feminine uh, uh, within yourself you do have that self-love now if you are already in a relationship this could be number one the end of the really rough times here there is reconciliation with this two of cups there's also healing with the star and maybe I feel like some of you may have been wishing for the situation to turn around and be better uh, that does look like it, the potential for that is going to ha is, is here, okay? It's just that both parties need to do some work on, and focus on what they bring to the table, how they may have been influencing the situation, what their um, input or their what they've been providing to the situation that may have helped it get to where it is. Ultimately, though, whatever the circumstance, it's only making you stronger. Even if that relationship ends and you end up being single, the relation that everything is only going to make you stronger. And it does look it does look like again, regardless of the circumstances, it does look like this this situation um, that's turning around for you is leaving you with an open heart or influencing you to be more open hearted, to be more self secure and understanding and compassionate even. All right. So let's get into the first row here. The first row. Um, this could be, you could look at this as the beginning of your month and the second row is the second half of your month, whatever. Um, Take it how it resonates, you know, I'm just gonna, I don't necessarily work with timelines, but here we go. So the first row, first set of surrounding energies for your month of March, you have the Six of Swords, absolutely. Definitely a lot of healing going on here. Moving from um, a tumultuous situation, from rougher waters to calmer waters, um, this is definitely men, uh, mental in in um, in nature. So there could be a lot that you're leaving behind here from the past or le trying to leave in the past. This could be uh, belief systems, beliefs about yourselves, the way people may have seen you that has influenced the way you see yourself. Um, uh, maybe even bad habits, uh, negative cycles. I'm hearing narcissism. Sorry, I hit the mic. I'm hearing narcissism specifically. So there's so for some of you, you could be leaving behind narcissistic tendencies or narcissistic behaviors or narcissistic cycles. Okay pulling in narcissistic people into your life and for some of you specifically yes that was something that just kept coming up and coming up even though like say you keep attracting the same people um that is just because like i said earlier that's just because you have been in the process of learning that lesson surrounding the situation okay so don't don't beat yourself up if you constantly go through the same things because once you actually get that lesson once you actually get the message then you will be better uh set up to not attract these situations any longer and the, the the best way to heal something is to become aware of it and now that you're becoming aware of why these system these circumstances come, keep coming back up you'll be golden because you won't be in the position to re-attract those again you will have learned the lesson six of swords is coupled with boop, strength you've got double strength here gemini i mean that's awesome look at that that is awesome. You are really coming out of this on top. Um, now, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so first of all, you guys could be dealing with a, a Sagittarius, not a Sagittarius, an Aquarius. You also could be dealing with a Leo, or you could have some of these energies in your chart. Now, for the cross watchers, maybe you have been in a situation with a Gemini and you've learned the lesson and now you're moving forward to something bigger, something better. You are releasing the past, you're healing the past, you're, you're, you're healing and you're moving forward because you have that strength and abundance within, or you're connected with the abundance of the universe to move forward, okay? Um, Take this as it resonates. This could be the you, Gemini. This could be the, the, the cross watcher that may, might have been dealing with a Gemini, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you. We have, boop, 
the fool a brand new start moving in a new direction taking a leap of faith that's excellent the fool is coupled with the king of pentacles beautiful now you could be dealing with a taurus specifically or another earth sign capricorn or gem i'm sorry uh virgo but what this really means to me is um, and it's so funny because I did morning coffee today. Today is March 4th. Um, if you want to check that out, go ahead. Uh, but the King of Pentacles came out. And actually, the King of Pentacles came out again in my Insta Daily Reading on Instagram. Go ahead and check those out. It's very, very interesting because it's resonating with what I'm picking up on from the King of Pentacles right now, especially with The Fool. Um, and actually, The Fool came out in morning coffee today. That's very interesting. So um, what I'm feeling here is... For whoever is, is taking a leap of faith or moving in a new direction, you finally feel secure and confident enough to do this. This is the physical manifestation of this energy of strength that you have cultivated here, okay? Uh, so, uh, uh, grounded, stable, secure, maybe well-manifested, maybe financially secure. I would say well-manifested all around, so that's not a maybe, that's a definite. Um, but maybe even financially secure. Maybe you've come into the po position where you are now uh, understanding the flow of abundance within the universe and the financial situ aspects of the situation aren't weighing you down as much anymore. Um, very sure of yourself, very grounded, very secure, and very much about commitment. And I do feel like you have a commitment to yourself here to do better, to see better, to experience better, to manifest better. And that's beautiful, Gemini. That is absolutely really beautiful. Your current challenge here, the moon. Intuition. You see, the moon here is not so scary. There may have been some fear. There is definitely some illusion, definitely um, maybe even a dark night of the soul situation that you might actually be going through now, but it doesn't really feel bad. I do feel like maybe you are, you're actually coming out of this dark night of the soul potentially. But what this is saying to me is the, the, the moon is representing the illusion, is representing the darkness, not being able to see something clearly enough, but you still have the strength to surmount it. And that's why it doesn't feel so bad between the two, the double strength strength here <clears throat> excuse me you're definitely it's you gemini or someone else connected with you is embarking on a brand new journey is going on a it's taking a leap of faith here with the fool and that's absolutely influenced or there is influence by the moon here I, it's like you don't necessarily see exactly where you're going but that but you still have the confidence to move forward with forward with it regardless of the lack of illumination okay the moon is coupled with the Five of Swords. Okay, now don't freak out because that does feel, it still feels okay. There's going to be opposition no matter what. No matter what direction you go in, no matter what you take on, there's going to be opposition and there are potentially going to be people that are going to want to stop you, going to want to tear you down. I do feel like there's a little bit of jealousy here between uh, maybe some people that you're leaving behind. If you're actually leaving a, a, a romantic partner, business partners, creative partners, friends, family, whatever, whatever you're leaving behind, I do feel like there's jealousy here towards you. There's shade. Um, some people actually might be really nice to your face, but behind your back, they're trying to tear you down. They're trying to sabotage you. I don't see that really bothering you so much because of the strength that you've cultivated here. Okay, Gemini, this is beautiful. So don't worry about it. I would say keep your wits about you and definitely follow your intuition here, but I'm not so worried about this energy, to be quite honest. I mean, even though the Five of Swords can be a pretty scary and tumultuous and very destructive energy, I'm really not worried about it because of all this strength you have, okay? Potential outcome, or at least closing message for the first half of your month here, you have Nine of Pentacles. Boop! Okay, so really, some of you actually might be, coming, might be um, breaking up or becoming single. But this is very, I mean, this is actually mirroring or, or um, 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 confirming the energies that I was feeling in this King of Pentacles right here, okay? Very self-secure, self-aware, self-sufficient, sure of yourself, confident, happy, productive, abundant, um, rewards for hard work well done, okay? And this is not, if this is not something that you're feeling right now, this is something that's coming on down the pipeline, especially with what we have here in Strength. Uh, this challenge will make you stronger, okay? Nine of Pentacles is coupled with the Three of Wands. Excellent. So there is definitely an energy of um, waiting for a return on an investment. There is, you've done a lot of hard work. 
regardless of what the circumstances, whether this is a romantic relationship, I am picking up romantic relationships specifically. You've done a lot of hard work, okay? And regardless of whether or not the relationship is breaking up or you two are just becoming more solid and stable and secure within your own selves, which in turn is going to help make the partnership of your relationship that much stronger, regardless of whether you're staying together or breaking up, there is an energy of a return on an investment for work well done. Hard work is really about to pay off for you, Gemini. That's beautiful, okay? Getting into the second half of your month, first set of surrounding energies, you have the High Priestess, which is also reflecting these energies of the moon here that was in your challenge for the beginning of the month. Um, again, time is an illusion, so take this however. I'm just, I'm saying it this way for us to help um, um, uh, understand a little more. Uh, or have a little bit of a, a better structure, but take this as it resonates. You know, energies are fluid. This could be flip-flopping all over the place here. It could be all jumbled up. But anyway, um, the High Priestess is an energy of secrets, intuition also. The High Priestess is the most uh, psychically aware or psychically gifted being in the whole deck. Uh, the only other person that can stand close to her would be the Queen of Cups. Although, however, the Queen of Cups is minor arcana, the high priestess is a major arcana. I just feel like either there is, um, specifically, there are going to be some secrets that are going to be brought to light for you, Gemini, potentially in the second half of the month or at some point within the month. And that's just only, I really don't feel like it's only going to work more in your favor, is going to put the situation more in your favor, either you, Gemini, or maybe a cross watcher here. The high priestess is coupled with the two of wands, okay? Or there are going to be some situations in which you're going to um, need to use your intuition because you're going to have to make a choice. And now, okay, see, now this is this does make sense because I was feeling specifically that there was going to be some sort of, some sort of secret that you might find out about, maybe through the grapevine, um, maybe through your own efforts. Um, I don't feel like maybe some of you are going to be seeking this information, but I don't feel that's not the strongest vibration that's coming through. I feel like it's just kind of going to fall into your lap. Um, and it's going to allow you to or influence you to make a decision moving forward on how you want to proceed. And that's why I feel like whatever is coming forward is going to work in your favor because it's going to be bring put you in a better position to make a choice about something. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your month, you have the Ten of Pentacles well manifested. And that is falling right underneath the King of Pentacles. But now this is also setting you up for um, legacy, for uh, um, putting the time and the effort into something. The, the Ten of Pentacles does symbolize time. It does symbolize investment. It does symbolize work, working or being invested or being in it for the long haul. Um, some of you are really setting yourself up for some sort of legacy or some sort of sort of some sort of long-term business goal or business plan. Maybe even investing in a house, buying a house, um, buying a new home for your family, starting a family, maybe. Financial endeavors could really be successful, but again, this is long this is down the road this is long term okay ten of pentacles is coupled with the four of pentacles all right yes and then and it's funny because i was just hearing that financial endeavors are going to be solid or well manifested in the future and that four of pentacles and this four of pentacles energy here is absolutely helping you do that okay it's uh, i'm seeing you laying a solid stable foundation or at least having a solid and stable foundation or putting in the um discipline in order to undertake this long-term investment i'm seeing i'm feeling a very disciplined energy here or even a solid business plan uh, a solid blueprint a solid outline sorry guys i just want to let archangel michael pass <laughs> have some coffee here but that feels good Okay, often the four of pentacles is like a miserly energy. It's a hoarder energy. It's not something, it's like, usually it talks about needing to let go, let go of something, release something. 
But what I'm seeing here now, it's it's absolutely uh, um, uh, uh, possible that there may be some things you need to let go of in order to continue investing in this direction with this Ten of Pentacles energy. But the main thing that I'm feeling for this is that you are setting a solid foundation in order to continue growing your investment or growing the circumstance, the business, whatever, the relationship, whatever. OK, your challenge in the in the second half of the month here, you have the king of cups. Emotional maturity. For some of you, you're going to be dealing with an, uh, an emotionally manipulative or a narcissistic individual. For some of you, this now this could be. This could be like, say, a final test for some of you, uh, maybe someone from your past or if you are broken up with someone, maybe they may come back and try to manipulate you in emotionally into um, entering into the relationship again. Um, and I would caution you against that. If this person really has not made any sort of changes, then I would say absolutely not. Like, why would you want to get back into that situation that you just came out of? Um, and even if you do want to get back into the situation, maybe they do think you, they are giving you some sort of energies that maybe they have changed. Give it time. OK, you need to you need to give them time to prove to you that they're actually who they say they have become. You know what I mean? Um, but also there is an energy of needing to be emotionally mature, needing to take responsibility for yourself, your actions, where you are, where you've been, where you're going, your emotions, that kind of thing. OK, King, uh, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Or a Cancer Pisces individual. All right. The King of Cups is coupled with, yeah, see, the Seven of Cups. Someone might be coming back, and it could, if you've been come, if you, you do break up with someone, and then they might be coming back um, with a bunch of smoke and mirrors, like with a bunch of. Uh, fanfare and gifts showering you with love and affection, and maybe even love bombing you. OK, and trying to get you back into the situation. But this is a this is like a test, a test. Uh, I like to say it more of like a checkpoint that your higher self or your soul or the, the universe is putting into play for you so that you can see how much you really integrated some of the lessons that you have here. For some of you, more specifically for some of you, and I do feel like this is for a male figure or maybe even a masculine energy there are going to be you're, there are going to be a lot of feminine energies around you or there are just going to be a lot of potential suitors around you and you're going to need to like really be discerning as to what you want to actually invest in okay closing message or potential outcome here for the second half of your month gemini we have the chariot cancerian energy you could have cancer in your chart i'm picking up a cancer moon specifically um not sure why but being focused and and advancing very very well in your chosen direction here moving swiftly balanced i do feel like for some of you that are going to be going through this checkpoint energy i feel like you're going to be successful OK, you're going to successfully keep whatever that is at bay, which is beautiful. And it's going to really, really propel you forward. And that's going to be even more of a confidence boost for you. The chariot is coupled with the two of swords, though. Interesting. The two of swords lately has been really talking about not being indecisive, but not allowing the illusions potentially here between the king of cups and the seven of cups that is in your challenge for the second half of the month not letting any of that stop you and maintaining your mental balance here that's really what i'm seeing with the two of swords i'm not seeing anything bad and actually that's even more of a victory for you that is in fact how you will be able to surmount to this challenge that could be coming forward for you all right gemini so there you have it thank you so much for tuning in I hope you guys have a great month. Again, if you would like a personal reading from me, go ahead and check out the description box below. It does include my email and all of the readings that I offer. Check me out on Instagram and Facebook. And I love you guys. Yeah, have a great month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of April. Yeah, take care. Bye.